I didn't think when I started this YouTube channel that it would be this hard to come up with good quality content to share with you guys. Um, I had some business downstate. I'm in the Flint, Michigan area. And uh, my plan was to take care of what I had to handle and then head over to the swap meet at the Dort Financial Center. You can see, I'm going to share that right now. Um, you can see that's going on today, or supposed to be going on today. Turns out, it's not. So, um, the young lady who was uh, vacuuming the floors in the financial center was, uh, was very kind and very sweet, and we had a good chuckle, but um, that's going on February 25th. So, for the person in charge of that event on, on Facebook, kudos to you, kudos to you. Um, by the way, it wasn't the only dumbass that, uh, that went there. There was a, a congregation of us dumbasses ready to buy some cool motorcycle stuff but um didn't work out but but alas it's not a total waste because i am here in flint michigan in the vehicle city and we are outside of vehicle city harley davidson and we're going to go in there and check out some of the new 2024 models so see you around all right well we're here at vehicle city harley davidson and they have their 2024 cbo lineup out and it is absolutely amazing, along with the CBO Road Glide 25th Anniversary Edition. And this thing is a baddie. So we're going to take a look at what they got and uh, explore a little bit around Vehicle City. All right, we're going to start this one off good. This is the CBO ST Road Glide Edition. This thing is gnarly. Um, absolutely love that black on red. They even have a Finally, finally had a decent looking hair filter on a Harley. Crazy, but uh, little rollies there. But this bike is absolutely beautiful. I seen this bike in a photograph a few months back at a di different dealership. It wasn't sold on it, but seen it in person. This uh, white sand pearl is a beautiful, beautiful color. It doesn't pick up very well here on camera, but it's gorgeous, man. Another little detail I really like about it is this, this front fender. And it, uh, if you come around here to the end of the bike, it matches the tips. It's just a really good looking bike. You got the cans in the back. So. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bike. Little touches of that same type of a pattern here on the back. Even going up here to the dash. I mean, this is, uh, it's pretty much bagger performance from the factory as you can get from Harley-Davidson anyways. This thing is... It's a good looking bike, so I'm going to change my tone a little bit from my Facebook comment <laughs> from the other night, but um, this thing is, is, it is pretty cool, and it's just well done on the, uh, on the color scheme here with how it goes, and then of course, you know, bringing back the OG Screaming Eagle, pretty gnarly, so this is the details of the bike Milwaukee 8 121 high output inverted forks just a beautiful ride and a beautiful price to boot all right, up next we have the Street Glide CVO. That is gnarly. I love this color scheme. So I don't know how well it's going to pick up either on here, but there's a little bit of striping in the silver. And it's, it's just beautiful. Brimbo brakes, those uh, wheels are gorgeous.
So as we go around, we're going to take a look at the uh, the ads that they have on this one. Of course, you got the speakers here in the box. A lot of people are talking some shit about this uh, this air filter cover. I don't think it's too bad. Again, both bikes, being a CVO, you got the digital dash. This here is, uh, yeah, could have done a little differently, but all in all, it's a beautiful bike. On this guy, too, you got the uh, orange in there, as well as on the floorboards. Horn location. Innovative, Harley. Innovative. CVO anniversary, 1999 to 2024. 25 years of the CVO. So on this bike as well, we we'll get that a little better. And then again, damn. That's gonna bring us over here. This is my personal favorite color. If you can't see this very well on camera, I'm sure, but this has some sparkle in it. It's just beautiful. When the sunlight hits this bike, it's it's gorgeous. You got another 121. It's really well put together. I mean, even these bars. Me being a a big guy, six four, um, those bars are are perfect height. Even the seat is really good. I rode uh, one of these from last year, 2023, um, last summer in a demo, and it was an absolute beautiful ride. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Been coming all the way up, painted inside. You got the Rockfords. It's blaring. This is really cool too. Something they they kind of added on on last year's CVOs are these guys. And they come all the way through, and it really cuts down on the uh, get as much wind as you want. I'm going to. I don't have the color of this bike on me, but I will add it into the um, information here as I go. Again, all the same. Copperhead. That's the name of the color. Beautiful, beautiful bike. And of course, you got last year's models. Uh, the silver. This thing here is, man, I really love this, this color scheme as well with the highlights going around it. It's a beautiful bike. I am a fan of this Batwing fairing. Um, well over the uh, Road Glide fairing. I love this Batwing fairing. It is absolutely beautiful. I know there's been some issues reported at highway speeds. Well, above highway speeds, but um, hopefully we can get those worked out. But just a beautiful bike. Then how they mash the black with the chrome. And of course, there's the granddaddy of them all. A lot of people didn't like this color scheme as well. I did. They're talking about the old gold wings. Just beautiful. Beautiful work. I mean, and then, I mean, come on. How can you not like that? 
So again, we're here at Vehicle City, Harley Davidson in Flint, Michigan. Um, got to meet JJ, who is out here on the floor right now, moving all the bikes around his biggest night here last night. Um, welcoming the new models in, which I sadly missed. But um, this place is awesome, man. So if you're in the area, or even if you're not, swing on over to Vehicle City. These guys will take great care of you. They have everything you need to do an awesome clothing section. I mean, I don't want to put this out there if my wife is watching or not, but come on now. They got everything you need here for bags, coats, leathers, t-shirts, all sorts of stuff. And they have one badass service department. So um, we're going to take a look at some more bikes. So we'll be right back. I mean, I'm cool, but I'm definitely not magenta sidecar cool. This thing is beautiful. Champion Sidecars. Check them out. Championsidecars.com. This is another new color for 2024. This is the shark skin. I uh, wasn't too sure about it on the RG3, which I'm a huge fan of the RG3, but uh, I got to go out back and see a street glide they're putting together and it pretty much sold me on this bike, at least on this color. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, once it gets out in the uh, sunlight as well, it just kind of pops out, but I mean, that's the machine right there. And you got this beautiful one as well. And then this baddie over here. Holy smoke. I would give up my Ultra for one of these. And that's no joke. Beautiful, beautiful bike. I don't remember the name of this blue, but I have my eye on it. I am a fan of the color blue. Big blue pearl being my favorite Harley blue that they have. But this one is uh, is definitely growing on me. Let's see if we can get the the color here. If I don't have it, I will find it and put it into the video. Oh, there it is. Blue Burst. Beautiful color. And that's, that's Rogue Glide Limited. Beautiful. All right. So that is it here for Vehicle City Holly Davidson. Um, I grew up just a few miles down the road from this place in Owasso. Ended up meeting a, a young lady I went to high school with working the, uh, the clothing department. So that was pretty cool. But uh, Vehicle City, man, you guys got to come down here. This is one of my favorite dealerships in the state. They are, they are just on top of everything. They're super nice people. Um, very gracious to let me even go in there and film around and, and, and mess around while they're trying to do work. So that was pretty cool. But... Uh, Again, Vehicle City, I'm going to put their information here as well. Great people. Stop in, say hi to JJ, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. See ya.